Hey Taurus, it's me Stormy and here's your horoscope for July 2018. I'm going to get you into the details and out enjoying this beautiful summer. Oh my goodness, this is a busy month. The cosmos have got it going on this month. We've got not only Mars retrograde all month long, Mercury's taking a retrograde, Chiron's taking a retrograde, Jupiter's coming direct, we've got two eclipses, and the sun changing signs so we enter into a different season so it is a busy month but let's get in here and talk about this now the very first thing i really want to address is the fact that mars is retrograde all month long so keep in mind and i know we harped on it in june i know that we did and you've seen every astrologer's post ever about mars retrograde but we're not kidding this is not the time to initiate new things, continue things. And then while we're here in this retrograde, relook at your energy, relook at your action, relook at how you're placing your energies, actions, and things like that, okay? Your motivations, look at those things. That's what this time is gonna be about. Now, I will tell you too that we have also got our two biggest benefic planets being direct this month which is a super benefit for you it has potential for romance for joy for collaboration written all over it so let's just let's just jump at the beginning and break it down by date now right at the beginning of the month here on the fifth chiron who is transiting aries right now which is going through your 12th house our most hidden secret spiritual house right it is going to go retrograde okay now when chiron is direct what we're looking for is we are trying to find our identity we are fighting for our identity right we're fighting through some of the muck to redefine ourselves to heal the wound by defining this is who i am this is my identity this is my calling and my purpose and then you take it out into the world and you help others now with chiron retrograde here i think especially in the 12th house for you taurus one of the questions is what is the belief structure that you have that is keeping you limited right you cannot have a new identity you cannot have a new identity if you're only willing to have the belief structure that you had three years ago a year ago six months ago right you've got to create something new here and it means usually letting go of something now one of the biggest things i see with a, a chiron retrograde that i think is phenomenal for all of us to consider is where we disbelieve where do you disbelieve? It's like, oh, I really want to have this brand new business, but I can't because I don't have the money. That is not going to work out. Maybe what that looks like is, I really want to have this new business. I don't have the money yet, but I bet there's a way to get it. That's a much different place to create a reality from. How about this one? Well, I've never really been the kind of person to blah, blah, blah. And here you find out, Maybe you are, right? Maybe you are. And sometimes this is yucky, right? I've never really been a petty person. Well, maybe you are. Maybe that's what you're finding out. You know, this retrograde is giving you an opportunity to get out of what's limiting you by seeing what's down there, okay? On the 9th, Venus is moving into Virgo, which is, she's not very comfortable, right? Venus in Virgo is not comfortable because it makes you want to be nitpicky. However, this is coming into your fifth house. The very next day on the 10th, Jupiter is coming direct in Scorpio in your seventh house because it's just in that opposite energy. And what this does is Jupiter is our biggest benefic planet. Venus is our smaller benefic planet. And when these two get together and start working on something, the word that comes up for me is potential. It is potential. There's a lot of potential energy for you to work with here. So somewhere between your joy and your relationships, whether that be personal or professional, you have the opportunity for some beautiful expansion here. You have the opportunity for some beautiful expansion with your children or whatever it is. There's a deepening that can happen to the connection and it's very, very joyful, right? Even if you've had relationships, whether they be business professional or any other kind of tie friendships that have been kind of challenging over the last year or you've kind of been over the last few weeks wondering what the heck you should do with it this brings a lot of savvy wisdom and abundance to it and the opportunity to really form a genuine connection here so i love this venus in virgo too is so freaking wonderful because what happens is that if you are single, if you are wanting to bring a project into your life, if you're wanting to conceive, if you're wanting to do any of those things, what happens is this is beautiful energy to help whip this in there for you. And with the help of Jupiter, these two just get together and booyah ka cha okay? <laughs> All right, on the 12th, we have got our random solar eclipse that we've got going on at 20 degrees of Cancer. And I say it's random because you think 
we've been doing lunar and solar eclipses for the last year or so and they've been in leo and aquarius right and then we just have this random one here that's in cancer so we want to pay attention to this now remember the solar eclipse is still our new moon for the month okay so this one is happening in your third house which also gives a really nice boost i think you've got venus your ruler up there in that fifth house of expression she's even maybe even um giving your voice even more beauty right now what's happening is you've got this solar eclipse this place of new beginnings new intentions and you're communicating well it's giving you a reset to your communication zone if you've been trying to write something you're trying to publish something you've been you know you need to get back to that project something like that this is a wonderful wonderful energy i think for you to be able to work with okay now the other thing i think that this is helpful with with this eclipse being here and it could be playing out over the next um three to six months is if you were working on um anything with siblings this could definitely be good for helping out your sibling energy so keep that in mind as well if there's a conversation that's been needing to be had between the two of you this may be a great time to put some kibosh on something so use the new beginnings of these communications really to do good, to communicate something out there, to get the writing done, to get the studying on the books, whatever it happens to be for you, okay? Now on the 22nd, we've got the sun moving into Leo. So this is gonna light up the fourth house space for you at the same time on the 22nd, and I really want you to put a big circle around this date, is that Venus, that big, that small benefic planet is gonna be in a sextile with Jupiter. When the planets have sex, that's good for us. It's gonna be a beautiful time for you here on the 22nd. 22nd when they align here with each other so nicely that this is a really nice divine energy kind of day so make sure you circle that on the calendar for sure okay now on the 26th we've got mercury moving into its retrograde which will also be here in leo and staying retrograde all the way until august so what does this mean mercury is our planet of communication right it's our planet of decision making thinking patterns mental faculties um studies things like that but where this is falling for you is in the fourth house so this could be a time where yes we've got the sun lighting and brighting over here which just means we need attention and action in this house then we've got mercury here and you may be rethinking redoing re-editing something in your fourth house zone something could be going on with a family member there could be a situation that comes up and you're having to revise it in some way in your fourth house space now I would tell you very seriously because mercury is that communication planet if you can avoid signing any new contracts making any severely important decisions um, any of that kind of stuff if you can wait and push it out until August right that's gonna be to your your best benefit um, because right now, if you do it, you don't have all the facts, you don't have all of the information. If you do happen to be a Taurus who is working on selling a house or a business or something like that, you may see once the Mercury retrograde happens that maybe that um, sale or that business change is delayed just a little bit. And that may be delayed well until we get to, to about August 17th. So keep that in mind, delays don't mean no, but it's definitely a time where you wanna think twice before you really commit to anything, okay? Um, this could also be, like I said, I'm wondering too for some of you if this is not going to be a time of transition for someone in your family so kind of just keep that in mind now when we get to the 27th we've got this full moon lunar eclipse happening um, in Aquarius which actually hits at the top of your chart so now you've got mercury retrograde down here in the family zone and you've got a Mars retrograde and a lunar eclipse happening up at the top of your chart so this could bring some stalls this could bring a cosmic slow down to your career to your career zone your your soul level calling zone where I think this is useful is again use your retrogrades this lunar eclipse is still the full moon for the month so it's saying something has to be ended acknowledged or adjusted you may see that your way of doing something in business or in your organization is not working and you need to abandon ship um, you may see that this career path that you chose is just not going to work out you can't do it you can't hack it anymore you know what I mean and here's the thing that you really want to use this time I think most efficiently to do is to reconsider which part are you playing is the ship going down and you are the person Taurus looking for your lifeboat so you can get off or are you the person on the ship that is sinking incredibly quickly right and you're rearranging the plates and polishing the brass acting like it's not happening right this is a time re 
look at your professional life. Are you in alignment? Do you have the skills, the training, the certifications you need to be getting done um, something that you need to do? And if something is dying off, I would just encourage you um, to let it go. Now, this could last for about six months as well with that lunar eclipse energy being there. Um, whatever it is, because we've got both of these energies up here, this is a very significant crossroads turning point time for you. So kind of keep that in mind, okay? All right, guys. What a month it's going to be. What a month it's going to be. And I hope that you are getting outside, depending on which season, which part of the world you're in, and enjoying some of the summer and just enjoying the world around you. This really is a time to stop and smell the roses. It really, truly is. So take advantage of it because pretty soon all of these energies are going to be direct and it's going to be time to hustle hard and hustle forward. So I love you guys so much. Like this video, comment, share, subscribe. If you are not following me on Facebook, please do so because I've got live sessions going over there, live sessions going over here, and some cool new fall stuff coming for you as well. I'll keep you posted on absolutely everything, okay? I love you guys. Bye!